Hey, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein, and today I'm going to go through a tutorial on how to get a business license in San Jose, California. This is one video in a series where I'll go through a bunch of the different big cities in California and show you how to get business licenses. Now, in San Jose, California, which is in the Silicon Valley, it's not actually a business license, it is a business tax a business tax certificate. That's what you're applying for. So I'll put the link to where this is, but I actually just Googled San Jose business license and this is the first page that comes up. So as I said, it is a business tax and registration system. They are not as much looking at zoning stuff about what activities your business is doing that much, except for certain check boxes that we'll probably see come up. What they're looking for is did you pay them the money? They just want their money. And that's true of most big cities. Now, how do you get this? You can actually go in and go in person. And I would suggest that if you're having trouble doing this and you're local in San Jose, because obviously you would be if you're getting a business license there, you might just want to go down there in person and they will tell you what to do. And that will might simplify your life. You make an appointment to do that. And there's a phone number right here and you call, click option two, for business tax and you can go ahead and make an appointment. However, if you can't get an appointment or you don't wanna deal with that, let's look at how you would do that. They have a whole bunch of links here. Everybody ha it has who has a person or company who is conducting business in San Jose must register for a business tax certificate. So this isn't just if you're located there, if you're actually doing business there, you have clients, customers, selling stuff, whatever. Payment is due 90 days of starting business. So you don't have to have this before you start business. You have to have it within 90 days of when you start start and then you get a business tax certificate and you have to display it now obviously like for me I work from home so and right now actually I'm traveling full-time so I don't really have a place but if you have a physical location you need to display it there and this isn't zoning zoning is a separate thing zoning is about the activities that you're doing all right so it has all the due dates and then the payment that's due annually is due on the 15th day of the calendar month in which the business began and then there's all kinds of penalties if you don't do it they yeah, have an extra four dollars which goes to the state all right so let's go ahead and say register your business okay and then here's all the pieces of information you know the start date of the business the ein which if you have a sole proprietorship you can just use a social security number but or you can go ahead and your ein so so this is one of the things is if you're going to form an llc or corporation if you're going to get an ein you got to do those things first before you do this your driver's license number and this is a common thing for business licenses for zoning things for your seller's permit the license number for the owner or the owners has to be included because they want to be able to find you telephone number obviously the owner name and address address of every location email and then there are certain things that you would also need like if you're going to have a seller's permit because you're selling products etc if you have restaurant so you need a health permit if you're a contractor you put those numbers in so you would get those things done before this all right for if you it new registrations if you paid it takes a few days for it to activate if you don't pay during it you don't have to pay during it they're sending you a bill in the mail and you get credit card they charge an extra 2.4 percent fee ridiculous but here we are all right so let's go ahead and click on this and see what happens i've gotten a business license from Stanley before but it was a really long time ago and it was done by paper all right so let's say what kind of business do you have standard residential landlord commercial landlord mixed use landlord mobile home park or self-employed 1099 contractor so if you don't have a business that is like a general business if you are only a 1099 person they actually have a special category for this so this is a lot of consultants people like that or you're a writer or you know but if you are selling to not other businesses if you're selling to end user customers then or clients then you'd put standard business so what kind of a business this is i'm gonna actually fill it out as a sole proprietor that's what i'm gonna put in today i'm gonna put in my name what is the form of identification i'm gonna post social security number Okay, business email address. Business phone number is actually optional. Interesting. Okay, the ownership. Um, we're just going to say owner. So these would be things like like CEO or president. President is what I would put if it was an LLC. So you can have other different things depending on who it is. But we're just going to say owner because it's sole proprietorship. So Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. Four. So if you change this to something else, it will have different things here. Phone type, mobile phone. Okay, well, this is a made up phone number. No other phone. Driver's license optional. EIN optional. Social security optional. So no, and then keep going. So interesting thing. So let's say Potts, Weinstein, Financial Consulting. This is a business I used to have. 
And we're going to say it started at the first of the month. Right now it is July 28th, so we're going to say it started July 1st. Your business still operate in San Jose? Yes. Business details, financial consulting. Okay. Um. So let's see. Personal services. Okay. Contractor, we don't have any of these things. Continue. No P.O. box or mail drop addresses. So they want your actual location. Uh mail is mail drop it's, i'm assuming that means virtual mail but i actually don't know so i'm going to put a address in here that actually is a made-up address so this is not a real address <laughs> this is just made up for address let's say your mailing address is the same billing information current number of owners in san jose number of full-time employees we're going to say zero employees zero zero you have a business condition location no is this a home-based business yes let's just say that no do we not advertise leafless pawning sell door-to-door food truck public dancing pool tables flannel materials hazardous waste automobile repairs serve for free more people welding produce dust spray finishing tobacco products so business tax exemption so this is actually a very interesting thing that i don't remember saying this before you do not have to pay these taxes or you get a discount if you are having low revenue the low revenue and then also if you're limited household income and then they have a veteran sale of hand produced goods but and you only let's say a sale of goods da, 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 you only make two thousand dollars so in this business i'm gonna say this is a brand new business it makes no money so it actually is a low revenue generating business so we're gonna go in and click yes and see what happens there okay so my name is elizabeth potts weinstein owner and then i would click this that it, the information is true and then i would be submitting this I'm actually not going to do that because I'm, I can't click on a penalty of perjury because this is all made up information. So that's something that's really important. Whenever you submit stuff to a city or state or federal government, you are probably always clicking something saying under penalty of perjury, this all has to be true. And then I, you could select paperless statements. Make sure that your email that you put in here is correct, but otherwise then you would wanna go ahead and, and do it. So that's how you would submit that application. So how much is the tax actually going to be? There's a business tax for the number of employees. So one to two employees, the business tax is $210 in for July through June, 2023. And then July 1st, 2023 is $213. And then it's more for however many employees you have going up to a very large amount of money. If you have um, re rental property, it's per rental property. If you're an out of town business, who's just gonna have an employee here, there's a different factor of that, depending on how many people are here. In some cities, including San Jose, there are special rules for people who don't make a lot of money. Because if your business only makes $2,000 a year, a $200 business tax is actually incredibly unfair, right? And so the idea here is that they're not gonna penalize somebody for getting their business tax certificate, their business license, just because they don't make very much money. So there are exemptions here. Now, if you're confused by all this, like I said, I highly recommend that you go in and do this in person because they should help you figure out how to do this. I'm going to click on this and see, is this in the same space? Yeah. So if I today wanted to make a, a appointment, on Friday, June 28th, I could make an appointment that would be in 30 minutes from right now. So there's no reason to stress about filling out these applications and getting the right information and checking things right. Because here in San Jose, I'm actually not in San Jose for the second, but in this area in San Jose, in the Silicon Valley, you can actually make an appointment to get your business license. And one thing I just want to remind you is business licenses in California are not on a state level or a county level generally. They're usually at the city or town. If you're located in San Jose, you get one from San Jose. If you're located in Mountain View, you get one from Mountain View, etc. So the idea is, is that it's very, very, very local based on where your actual location is. Again, this is Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, please post them in the comments below. If you have a city in California that where you would like me to do a tutorial about how to get a business license, you want to request that, feel free to go ahead and leave that below. Like if you found this helpful, subscribe for more videos like this. And if you have more questions, you could sign up for the Patreon or you could join the free Discord. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.